Hey guys, it's Tip of the Day Tuesday, and today I wanted to share five things to help de-stress and uplift your mood. These are things that have been really helping for me lately. I know that it's a really scary time when we're all suffering from a ton of stress and anxiety, and it's really important now more than ever to do things during the day to help de-stress, keep our cortisol levels low, and to make sure that we get some endorphins going and feel good and just take our minds off things for a little bit, as much as we can. So hopefully these tips help you find ways to distract yourself during this time. Number one, dance. I don't know if you guys follow Goldie Hawn, she's my ultimate, and every time you see Goldie, she is dancing and happy. And there is something so infectious about that. When you watch her, you instantly are in an amazing mood and you're just like, oh, it's, she's so free and she's so light and happy. And same thing with Lisa Rinna, if you guys follow her in her dance videos, you can't stop watching because it's infectious. I don't care what you look like. I don't care if you're a good dancer or if you're horrible. Throw on some music, dance around in your living room, just let loose and sing to your favorite song, whatever it is, but just dance. I've been doing Ryan Heffington's live dance workouts every day and I don't care what kind of mood I am in when I wake up, when I'm done, I just feel lighter and I feel less stressed and really been helping me. And sometimes if I don't do his workouts, I'll be in the kitchen cooking, I'll blast that music, I'll pick Everly up, my daughter, and just dance. And sometimes I force Darren, he's not a big dancer, but sometimes I force him to do it just to get that blood pumping, those endorphins going, and just try it. Let me know what you if it works for you. Number two, meditate. Now whatever that is for you, that could be literally taking a cup of tea, sitting outside and listening to the birds chirp, just taking that time and breathing. You can close your eyes and focus on a mantra. Some people love to do guided meditations. There's a ton of apps out there that are great for guided meditation. There's Insight Timer, there's Calm I think is a great one, there's Headspace, I'll link them below. But if you're someone who can't really easily meditate on your own, the guided ones are great. Personally, what I love to do is I put either my anxiety roller or my calm on, or sometimes both, on. Before I close my eyes, I take some deep breaths, and sometimes I do guided meditations, sometimes actually I do everything that I just mentioned. I'll go sit outside with a cup of tea, and chance will run around, and I'll just, you know, sit there and listen to the bird. Or I do, like I said, guided meditations, and I do my own form of meditation every day, which has been really hard since having a baby, I'm not gonna lie, but I, it's really important to find the time to do that. Number three, watch funny movies. And I'm talking like, go for the classics. Now's the time to go down that list of movies that you've always wanted to see, or that you haven't seen in a while that you want to revisit, like Steve Martin movies, Goldie Hawn, of course, I'm obsessed, I love Goldie. Um, even Kate Hudson, I love her too. I was guy in 10 days is great. Uh, House Guest, I'm naming all Steve Martin, you know, Private Benjamin, like these are all great, funny movies that will just help keep you light. So go down that list and rewatch classics that you love, or go on Netflix and just find some new stuff. Share some of your favorite comedies below so we can all see them. And yeah, just go down that list of feel good movies for you to watch right now, because now's the time, right? If we look at the positives of this, it's time to like, just be that couch potato if you want to. Lay on that couch and watch TV. Now's the only time where like, nobody can make you feel bad about doing that. Basically, watch anything that's gonna help you just zone out and forget about what's going on right now. Because laughter is the best medicine, right? Number four, bake something you've never baked before. Now. I am not a baker. Why am I not a baker? Because I'm not someone who follows directions very well. With cooking, you can kind of just throw things out there, experiment, add things. If it's not good, add something else. But with baking, Darren always makes fun of me for this, you have to be very precise and focused because it's very specific, the ingredients. So doing that will do two things. Number one, it's super fun to get just, I don't know, I love getting like covered in flour eating chocolate chips as I'm going, like just, it just, there's something very fun and cozy about it, but it also requires focus. So it actually will help. It's almost like a form of meditation for people because it'll help take your mind off things. Then you get comfort food out of it. Now my advice is focus on things that don't have a ton of sugar. Try for the natural sugar. You don't want to eat a lot of sugar right now because it's not great for your immunity. Lean towards recipes, recipes that aren't super high in sugar and that have healthier ingredients. I don't know, try it, I'm gonna try it. Chances are, I will mess it up. I love cooking. Cooking, if you don't wanna bake, is another great thing to take your mind off things. I cook every single day, and it's really just time that I look forward to that I get to just like have that time in the kitchen and then come up with new recipes that are really fun. Number five, paint. Now, 
I am not a painter. I love makeup because it's my form of art and expression. I am not a painter in any way. But years ago, I was going through a really hard time in my life and I decided to just go out, buy some paint, get some sponges, and I got these canvases and I sponge painted them, all different colors, and I started writing positive quotes on them. And I started with one and I put it on the wall in my office at the time and I was like, God, this feels so good. I, 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 I created something that's positive and I'd look at it and I said, okay, you know what, I'm gonna do another one. So I did another one. And then I decided to take that time during my life and I basically did like 40 of them and covered an entire wall with sponge painted canvases that had positive quotes on them. And every morning I would wake up and I would stand in front of that wall and I would read all the quotes and it would just start my day in such a positive way. Really inspire me to like go out into the world and work hard and follow my dreams and just feel good. That's an idea, like paint positive quotes or just take finger paint and just, you know, if you have kids, get dirty. Just express yourself right now and take your mind off of things and create. So hopefully these tips helped. Let me know if you guys have any tips that you guys are doing that are helping you stay upbeat and positive. Hope you're all well, stay safe, stay home, stay healthy. Love you guys. Mwah.